Hi guys, it's Emily here from Mozzie Dent Free Girl back with another grocery haul video for you. Today we made an impromptu run to Costco and I filled the car, which you will see in the clips, and I grabbed a few things. I didn't do a full shop and I just wanted to check out how the price increases have worked at Costco. I was actually really disappointed because a lot of um, my favorite items had gone up by more than 30%, so like six or seven dollars, which was a bit ridiculous. But I did find some bargains and I also found, um, just grabbed some of my favorites that are still an okay-ish price. Um, so yeah, don't forget if you like this kind of content to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that little notification bell to be notified when I post new videos and I will catch you later in the video. All right, so I went with a girlfriend, um, so I can't show you the receipt, it's got her name on it, because we went under her membership today. Um, but I have the receipt here so that I can double check prices. I also realized when I got home, a lot of the prices on the shelf were mismarked, and I got charged more for items, which was annoying. I was busy with the baby, trying to get the baby in the car, get home for school run, all of that. So I didn't check the receipt before I left like I usually do. So don't be like me. I got charged an extra 70 to two dollars 70 cents to two dollars per some of these items. So starting over here with the Jats box, Mr. 8 loves Jats and they just make him happy. He will not eat any other cracker. And I usually buy them at $2.50 each when they're on special, but this was $11.99 for six packets, which means they're $2 a pack, which beats the special price. So I grabbed that. At the back, we have the sweet chili sauce, which is two for $5.99, which is $3 each, which is fine. The Nutella was $15.89 for two. It used to be $12 for a two pack, and those are both one kilos. That works out really well for us because that means one of them can be designated gluten-free and the other one I can feed, give to the kids and hubby to destroy and they won't get crumbs and stuff in it. So love the, the two, two kilo lot thing. I got these trolley lollies for hubby. He wanted to treat while we were there and these are one of his favorite lollies and I believe it is 851 grams for the trolley lollies. I'm just finding it on the receipt. It was $9.89 for this big pack and he will demolish that, not a problem. The fountain barbecue sauce was a great find. This is four liters. So double those big ones that you get at the shops for $4.99, so five bucks for this giant box. And I think the ones at the shops are $4 for a two liter. So definitely better. I got almond butter. It was meant to be $8.99. I paid $9.99. I didn't catch that on the receipt, but I wanted to try it and just give it a go. These soft chewy granola bars. I used to get these when they were $8.99. Then they went to $9.99 and that's where they kind of stayed. And then they went to $11.99. And now today I paid more than $15 for this, which was a bit of a shock considering. $15.99, so $16 for 64 bars, but I worked it out, it's still under, that's only 25 cents per bar, which is still pretty good. They used to be like 11 cents per bar. Um, but yeah, the kids will eat them for lunch boxes and so will hubby. I, every time I go, I get this glasses cleaner pack. It's got three of the small bottles, three of the big bottles, and then three microfiber cloths at the back. It's so handy. I have one of these in the office, one of these in my bedroom, one of these like in the lounge room, and then I have one in my pram, one in my nap bag, and one in my um, handbag. Because if you have glasses, you know, you can never find cleaning cloth or um, the spray when you actually need it, and then they go walkabouts from there. That was $13.99. They used to be $12.99, but still not too bad. Love that. I got these wipe and clear la wipes for glasses, which I've never gotten before. But like I said, I can never find anything to clean my glasses. So I thought it would be really handy to have some of these in my handbag, in the car, in like the center console, in the pram, in the nappy bag, 
just so that I can very quickly, especially like if I'm stopped at the lights and I get something on my glasses or it rains and my glasses get like the little wet drops on them, stains, I can just give them a quick clean and I can, you know, drive safely. They were $18 for three packs, but that should last me the next like two years probably. Moving down, I have taco mix. I ran out. Yes, I can make my own and I've done that before and I still end up adding extra to this, but I think it's super easy and super handy to have. It's a 730 gram box, bottle, jar, whatever you want to call it. And it is $8.50. And one of these lasts us probably a good year. And I'll use this in tacos and fajitas and um, chicken fajita pasta, just anything with Mexican flavors. I throw that in and then I can just adjust it with some paprika, some cumin um, seeds, some coriander, all of that, which I keep anyway. We have $6.99 for the rotisserie chicken, which are smaller than they were, which again, makes me very sad. We have 30 farm fresh eggs. I got this, we got the 60 pack and I split it with my girlfriend. So it was $13.99 for the 60 pack. So one of these would be seven or it was $8.99 for the same ones by themselves. So cheaper that way. I should have got, the plan was to actually get a 60 pack for me and then split the other one in half and she would have 30 and I would have 90 because we go through a lot of eggs, but I forgot. We have the semi-sweet chocolate chips, which I've seen in a lot of American Costco hauls and I was super excited to see at my Costco finally. And it is, I think it's two, two kilos. Two kilos of semi-sweet chocolate chips was $16 but for two kilos I am gonna make lots of stuff and I pay like $13 $13 $3 per like 300 gram packet from Aldi and Coles and Woolworths so that's definitely a saving there I got these gluten-free Turkish spreads these were another one of those items that was marked up on the receipt but it was six dollars and thirty cents on the shelf and I paid $6.99 for them annoying and then coming down, I got the Lifestyle Gluten-Free Bread. I wanted the white, they only had multigrain left. It's meant to be $6.99 on the shelf. It's been $6.99 the entire time I've been going to Costco. I double checked to see that it hadn't gone up. And then when I paid for it and I looked, for the receipt, I looked at the receipt, they charged me $7.50 per thing. I like these because it's $7, it was $7. $7 for two mini loaves, whereas I can pay five to six dollars per mini loaf at Coles, Woolworths and Aldi. Moving on, we got some gluten-free garlic naan bread, which I'm super excited about. I haven't had uh, naan bread since I've been gluten-free. This was $13 for, I believe it's six pieces. It's, it's a six pack. So six pieces of gluten-free naan bread for $13. Do that with a curry and rice one night, a little treat. And then down here we have the LCM's variety pack was $15 for 45. Now, if you're shopping the specials at Coles and Woolworths, it's $7.50 for a 15 um, pack. So two 15 packs would be $15. And this was $15 for 45. So that was an all right deal. So all up, this came to about $190 that I'm about to send my friend. We just went through together. She paid for it and then I sent her the money or I pay for it and she sends me the money. And that is what I got from Costco. I got quite a few shots at Costco for you guys. So if you're keen to see that, keep watching this video. They'll be coming up soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just click the little notification bell to be notified when I post new videos and maybe share this video with somebody else who might like this kind of thing. And I'll catch you in the next one.